Hello, everyone. This is Asian Zhang. Today, I'd like to introduce case study of a parametric model Yes Hotel located in Abu Dhabi. In this project, I use grasshopper and a kangaroo in the rhino design environment. There are three parts in this video. First, I'd like to introduce how I create parametric form for this building. Basically, you can consider that the buildings mainly have four parts. Building body, roofs, skin of roofs, and a corridor between the building. Each part may need a different modeling solution. For the building body, at the very beginning, I draw a simple base map in AutoCAD and import it into Rhino. Those curves are used as basic reference for my model. It controls the horizontal performance of this building. As you see, if I change the shape of this base curve, the layers controlled by this curve will be changed automatically. As you see the boundary, move, extrude commands are used to create the wall. I use several formulas here to calculate the location of each portion and make different portions related with each other. And this series icon is used to make several layers. I have several variables here. Um, because those formula I mentioned before, if, if I change one of the number here, the building will be changed. Uh, for example, if I increase the layers of building, the height of building will be increased. For the left roof, the concept is making a solid ellipse minus solid geometry having the curved profile line as I want. For the right roof, the idea is also subtraction. However, the car shape is different since the profile shapes are different when looking from right and left. About the skin of roof, first I use point on surface icon to find those points on the roof. I can control the number of points, which means I can change the density of curves and I connect the point from U direction and the V direction to create those lines on the rooftop. After that, I use pipe command to make the tube shape for the skin. Finally, about the corridor between building, the concept is projection and loft. First, I draw a circle and a rectangle as the profile shape, then project them on the surface of the walls. Therefore, I can get four profile lines and then loft them to get the structure as I want. There are various ways to make models. For the corridor, I can also use kangaroo to make a similar structure. I need to add a spring command and install U-Force for a mesh from the XYZ direction and make suitable anchor points. Here you see I can get a similar structure, but if using this method, further edit is necessary after baking this model. Besides, I can also use wind command to create a roof. By using rhino and grasshopper, several analyses can be made. For example, I can make curvature analysis by using colors to represent the condition of curves. I can get the area of surface, volume of building, length of curves, etc. So this program is quite useful. Okay, this is my case study for assignment 1. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.